Let's move on now. In an attempt to counter the growing aggression by the military hunter, Myanmar's shadow government has now called for a revolt against the military rulers by setting out a strategy that includes action by armed militias and even ethnic forces. The shadow government has declared a people's de defensive war against the country's military. In a Facebook video, the National Unity Government's acting president, Dua Lashila, called for revolt in every village and town against the military installed government. Today, from September 7, 2021, we launched a people's defensive war against the military junta. As this is a public revolution, all citizens of Myanmar revolt against the rule of military terrorists led by Ming Hong Lang in every corner of the country. Dua Lashila has also declared a state of emergency to build up momentum for the uprising. Some opponents of the military rule, meanwhile, have formed armed groups under the banner of the People's Defense Forces by building alliances with ethnic militias that have long seen Myanmar's army as their enemy. Myanmar has been under political chaos ever since the February 1st coup, when the junta ousted the elected government from power and the coup ended in a brief, decade-long experiment of democracy in the Southeast Asian nation, more than a thousand people were killed in several military crackdowns in the region since then. The growing atrocities have also unleashed a worsening humanitarian crisis in the region. Myanmar's military ruler Min Aung Hlaing last month took on the role of the Prime Minister in a newly formed caretaker government and has pledged to hold new elections by 2023. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.